Hey everyone, it's Greg and my friends, Bud and Katie. We're all here to do the Unbreakable podcast today. It is, oh well, Katie is it. It is Wednesday, January the 10th. And, uh, well, what a storm last night, huh, Bud? Yeah, it was a, oh, God, what a storm. The rain and wind. Oh, I hope everybody's safe out there. We're safe, thank God. Oh, terrible, terrible storm. I'll tell you what. <laughs> we got our Christmas tree, our old Christmas tree outside. It's been outside for about a week here, waiting for the trash guys to come and uh, we'll take it to Christmas, to Christmas tree heaven. And uh, we, we look, they didn't pick it up last week. So we thought, okay, they'll pick it up this week, right? We looked outside after the storm. The tree is gone. And they didn't pick it up because they come, the tra our trash guys here come Tuesday, Tuesday morning. So they didn't pick up the tree. So we're thinking that maybe the wind took the tree by us somewhere. So if you see a missing Christmas tree, an old one, a ratty, ratty looking one, maybe in your front lawn or your deck or something, it belongs to us. So just, it, you know, okay. Anyway, lot to talk about today. We're going to talk about the, start to talk about those NFL playoff games. I'm going to give you my opinion, and that's all it is, my opinion, on the Saturday games. And then uh, tomorrow we'll talk about the three Sunday games. Friday, we're going to talk about the Eagles game on Monday. And Saturday, you're going to want to tune in Saturday before the playoff games start, before the tournament begins. I'm going to give you my Super Bowl winning team. That's right. You heard it here first. My Super Bowl winning team to be covered. So, or not tomorrow, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. We got to build up the suspense. All right, so uh, a couple things. Guess what? But you're going to love this. Today is National Save an Eagle Day. I kid you not. Save an Eagle Day. Not our Philadelphia Eagles, but it could be. It's just the flying Eagles in general. Uh, isn't that most appropriate? Katie, where are you going? I don't want to do this shit. So she's gone. All right, Eva. Uh, save the Eagle. Save an Eagle Day. So uh, that's really appropriate. <laughs> Seeing how the Eagles, our Eagles football team, are just crumbling in front of our eyes. Yeah. So save the Eagle. Save them. Save them. You know what? Isn't it something how you get a song in your mind, a catchy song, and you can't get it out of your mind? You know, you hear it, and you hum it all day, right, bud? Uh, maybe you're in the shower. Maybe you're driving a car. Maybe you're just lounging around somewhere, and you can't get this song out of your mind. Well, that's what's going on with me. You know, I talked to Holly this morning, and I said, she said, she's watching the sound of music again. Uh, she loves those musicals. And oh, she taped it over Christmas. And she didn't go well, have a time, time to watch it. So she's watching it now. And she's saying, uh, well, you know, there's a song that keeps going through my mind. Guess which one? And I said, a uh, spoonful of sugar. And she said, no, 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 that's Mary Poppins. That's Mary Poppins. That's not sound of music. And I said, Oh no, I got my I got my Disney ladies all all confused. Uh, Joy Andrews, but she was in both, but you know what? Uh anyway, it's not a speaking show. I guess the right finally, it's Do Re Me. Remember that song? Do a fee, a fee, a fee, ray, a drop of golden sun. I used to sing it when I was a child. I remember that. I used to sing it, and I did all the gestures when I was a kid. You know, a female without the spray, a drop of golden sun. 
be ready. I call myself follow me to run. I used to do that when I was a kid. And here I am, an old guy, and I'm still doing. That's how life is, eh? But I can't get that song out of my mind now. And it's the kind of song that loops, you know, once you get to the end, you can't help but start it over again. And it brings us back to do, 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 do. And you start it again, you start it again, you start it again. But do you ever have that problem? Eh? I know what you want. You drink. That's what daddy's taking these days since he's on the diet. Lead treats. You got that, bud? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, all right, all right, all right. Enough of this. Uh, we want to keep the podcast to a manageable uh, uh, 15, 20 minutes, not two hours. So, let's talk about the uh, NFL playoff games coming up on Saturday. So, first of all, you've got the Cleveland Browns, who are sort of... Uh, the uh, destined team of destiny this year in football with Joe Flacco. Yes, yes, but yes, Joe Flacco. And they're visiting the Houston, I was going to say Oilers, Texans, Houston Texans down in Texas. And uh, CJ Stroud, what a great young quarterback the Texans have, huh? Unlike our Eagles. Well, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh, so, uh, what do I think? Well, I don't know if I have a real opinion on this game. It could go either way. I mean, the Browns have such a great defense. They could shut down Stroud. They could. Uh, but, uh, you know, Stroud is a great player. He does have that Nico Collins who has really stepped up his game uh, as a receiver. Uh, and that uh, I think Joe Flacco is going to have another good game. Now, usually in the playoffs, teams run the ball, run, 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 run. And Cleveland can. But uh, I think Flacco is going to have another good game. He's had four, four straight games of passing for at least 300 yards. And I say make it five. So if I had to lay some money on this game, I wouldn't take a side because it's too... Right now, the, the line is uh, Cleveland's actually favored by three points, two and a half, three points. And uh, I don't know, I might lean toward Houston at home, but if I was a betting man, I would probably play uh, Joe Flacco over on his passing yards. Now, I believe the line started at 260, which is really, really under the uh, what he's been doing, I think it's climbed up to 270. Yeah. I'd still say take it because, again, you got Flacco. There you go. Flacco, Flacco has gone over 300 yards for the Zoom. So I don't really have a side there. I do, even though Cleveland is the destiny team, uh, you know what? I changed my pick. I changed it just like that. It's it, it's a woman's prerogative to change, but well, that's not right. I can't say things. It is my right to change my mind, and I I'm saying boom, damn it, I'm saying boom. I think Cleveland is this series is the team. I'm not saying we're going to win the Super Bowl. We'll find out that on Saturday, but I'm just saying I think they're going to win this game. There was a reason why they're favored as a road favorite. Over Houston, and I think Joe Flacco and the boys, the Brownies are going to get it done. So put me down for the Browns. All right. So how about that night game, though? What a game! It's sad that a lot of us aren't going to see it, huh? huh? And now here's a, here I go. I'm going to go into my Peacock sucks rant again. This sucks. It really does. That this it's a disgrace that this NFL playoff game. And a good one at that, Miami at Kansas City should only be on Peacock. What the hell? You know, uh, NBC should be ashamed of itself. 
so should it the NFL. I mean, as we said the other day, uh, playoff games are meant to be watched by people and for free. So they're getting you to buy this extra network, move it for a week, so they can make more money. It's a disgrace. Think about all the bars out there on a Saturday night who will be uh, have the game on, right? People are going to be out Saturday night. They're going to watch the game. And uh, maybe they don't have, maybe they don't want to uh, subscribe to Peacock at home, which I don't blame them. I'm not blaming them. So they go out and then they're at the bar and they're watching the game. And so then the Peacock's going to get them, get you down. It's a disgrace that uh, NBC and uh, the NFL are doing this. I would I would have watched it because you've got a good game. First of all, here's the thing. It's going to be like minus nine degrees in Kansas City Saturday night. Dude, the hell's idea with that to put a playoff night game in Kansas City, Missouri, in in in, in the gym. That that's stupid. No wonder it's going to be minus nine out there. I mean, come on. Um, uh, think about it. Miami warm weather team. They've played in cold weather before, but they're used to playing in warm weather. Uh, it's got to affect them. It has to, right? That is cold. You're talking about Lambeau Field, Green Bay type of cold. And you know, there are many teams to go up to Green Bay, New England, New England. That's why Tom Brady won so many Super Bowls. At least got them. Why? Because, right, bud? He is a troll. Look at him. Look at him. Uh, because the Wing One always had her field advantage by winning the uh, the AFC East. And so teams had to go to frigid, snowy, windy Foxborough and uh, play uh, an AFC championship game. And so it's often the same thing. Uh, frigid out Kansas City. It's got to affect money. But, you know, Kansas City, they are not, they are not your grandfather's chiefs. They're that way. They're not even, of course, last year they won the Super Bowl. Now there's a matter of maybe a team isn't as hungry as they were last year. Because, you know, a lot of teams will say, ah, we want it once, and we're not. We're not going to put our, we're not, we're not focused in, for whatever the reason. That's the thing with this kids in the team. Not only are they not, they don't, can't, can't score points. They're not as explosive, especially since Tyree killed up. Not only can't they score points, they just seem uh, disorganized. Uh, receivers are dropping. They have their worst drop rate in the NFL. Receivers are dropping for uh, penalties. Andy Reid, you would think Andy Reid, come on. No, no, no. They just look discombobulated. How about that for me? <laughs> Travis Kelsey looks old. What the hell? What is what is Taylor Swift doing? Over? Jeez. Um, you know, uh, they 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 don't look good. So I don't care if they're at Arrowhead or if they're on the boot. Uh, they don't look good. You gotta score points, right? I don't just don't think they're going to score enough points to stay with Miami. Bold or not, Miami can score points. We don't know if Jalen Waddle's going to play the wide receiver for the Dolphins. We know the Dolphins are down uh, the two best pass pass rushers are out. Uh, they're out. They're, they're down some other key players. Injuries. It's a shame. Are killing the Dolphins. And the Dolphins, earlier in the year, you remember, the Dolphins were in first place in AFC East for a long, long time. Here they lose it. The Buffalo Bills swoop in, take the NFC from the Dolphins. So, Dolphins are real. Okay, but so are the Chiefs. I like 
Patrick Mahomes never can out Patrick Mahomes. Never, ever, ever put him. But I like Tyree Kill on the Dolphins going back to Kansas City. He's going to stick it to those Dolphins. I think Tyree Kill is going to at least score one touchdown this week. I think he's going to have a good week. Yes, Andy Reid might focus on Tyree Kill, try to take him away, especially if Jalen Wilder is not playing, but I think so have some way. Tyree Kill's going to burn your his own team. I like the Dolphins plus three and a half, four points, whatever the line is. I just think the Dolphins are going to keep it close. And uh, they may not win. The Chiefs may end up winning on a field goal. They Chiefs do have the, the edge when it comes to special teams. But uh, I just like the Dolphins to keep it close. So if I had to take the prop in that game or side, I would say take the Dolphins. I would also say take Tyree Kill to score a touchdown. I think, again, I think he's going to have a good game against his old foe, nemesis team, the Kansas City Chiefs. Anyway, so that's Saturday's game. Uh, we'll talk about Sunday's games tomorrow. Okay, bud, you want to wrap it up, buddy? Huh? All right, he's looking at me. You can only see like, the little, little piece of him there. That's his, that's his son. All right, bud, we're going to wrap this baby up. Okay? And uh, I think we talked enough smack today. What do you think, big guy? Yeah? Yeah, he agrees. Well, everybody, be safe today. It's a big cleanup today. After the big storm, have a great hump day. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe and hit like, whatever. And uh, that, that would be good. Good for us, right, bud? I will see you tomorrow on Unbreakable, the podcast. Have a nice day, everybody. Take care. Bye for now. But I can't shut us off. I can't shut us off.